Hey guys, welcome back to another Regular Dude Fishing video. I'm the Regular Dude John. Hope all is well. Got my buddy back there, Harley Neal. Fishing down here. We are below the Wheeler Dam at the beginning of Lake Wilson. And we are, as always, uh, when I'm down here, right now chasing skipjack and hopefully maybe some white bass. So we're already out here in the water. Just using uh, regular sabiki rigs. If anybody's wondering what we're using, we're just using regular sabiki rigs. And I'm going to be throwing a rig that's got a couple of shiny hineys on it. Uh, my casting rig and uh let's get the fishing all right uh as always we have got our rod set up and uh monster rod holders they're mounted on the boat i brought my 10 foot surf rods with me because i'm using some long sabikis and i like to be able to just go out there and kind of twitch them like that and give those sabikis a little bit of extra action in the water so anyway, we're going to uh, see if we can put some slime in the boat here soon. Some big old skipjacks, man. Looks like Harley got one too. Got one too. Nice, man. Here, let me let you have it. Buddy. Well, hang on, I got my hands full. Yeah, hands full. That's what, that's we put them right hard. into the salt water and uh, ice water. solution. Water. And then we go try to get another one. I didn't even hardly have that one set up before that skipjack hit. Hey, it's not a, not a hog, but we'll sure take him. We'll sure take him off of this old Tennessee River here. There you go, April. There's a shout out to April. <laughs> one of my friends, she said to show her a nice pretty fish and give her a shout out, so I did. There you go, put him in there. These sabiki that I'm using, I bought on the internet. Um, and they're, they're an eight foot long sabiki. And that's why I'm reason I'm using a 10 foot rod. So when I go to cast this thing, what I'll do, look at them, they're out there striking at it right there next to the boat. <laughs> Step one is to warn yeah. Harley you're about to do it. <laughs> they're right there by the boat. They are. But what I'll do is I will sling it from here, a little bit of tension, then I'll sling it back behind me and let that float hit the water again get a little bit of tension built in my rod and then cast it so here we go get that float into the water and then snap it that was, that's how you can cast those really long rigs with a long rod and even a shorter rod you can uh, you can do that with but if you're if you're using a really really long rod and a really long rig to have more baits out there in the water then uh, that's how I cast them anyway. And again, I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular old dude. And that's how it works for me. As far as uh, catching them, casting them real long rigs anyway. Hey, John, I do have something to add. When it comes to catching these skipjack, you said you're not an expert. You f that's probably the last time you'll hear him say that, folks, because he's just about an expert. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just a regular he, dude. He's just humble, regular dude, but John yeah. does a good job on these. Well, you know, I try. It's uh, part of the business, and we take really good care of our bait, and we try to catch as much as we can. We're in the, I guess, the first week here in November. Set that in the rod holder. And I'll tell you something, too, is, is keeping my rig separated. These ones out of the back in my rod holders, I am using the 45-degree angle. And then my rods out the side, I'm using a 33-degree angle. That gives them different angles, and that helps keep your line spread from getting intertangled and tangled up. It keeps them all at different angles with the line going into water. That way you can kind of work in between them. So, And we're getting ready to get into the late evening here. Let's see if we can catch another one. Here's the skipjack on the Foley Spoon. Thank you, Mr. Skipjack. Not bad. Oh, big old Tennessee River skipjack here. What we like. 
I'm telling you, man, these having these extra rods out like this is just like having a another couple of dudes in the boat with you. And uh, it really comes in handy. Here you go, April. Here's a bigger one for you. That'll drop him out of the boat. There we go. That's a good one. Sometimes they'll have them little shad still stuck in their mouth. Them little shad that they're eating on. But let's get some more. Look at there, little, little skipjack. But he's a skipjack. We'll take him. Come on in here. Oh, I can get my hand on the line there. Only certain circles have got a little skipjack. All right. Well, we're not on fire today, but we're catching a couple. Hopefully, we'll uh, really catch some more before dark. Just doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on right now. But that's fishing. Fish on the rod here, yep. A decent one. We can get him in the boat. Yeah. There's a little one. There's a nice big fat skip deck. Well, we're throwing, we're throwing, we're casting spoons and shiny hineys and stuff, but we're just getting most of the most of the bites on these rods out the back here with the sabiki zone. So that's okay too. All right, let's. Uh, Big cast. Big cast, big fish. And I'm hoping that at some point Harley's going to actually catch a fish. Yeah, I'd like to be on your uh, YouTube video here. He's, he's fishing, out. but you know, <laughs> having a rough time there, brother. Yeah, they have slowed down a lot right now. Yeah, they. It, it's, well, it's the time of year, you know. They slow down a lot this time of year, so anything that we catch is always a plus. Remember just, uh, a few weeks back, I made that video and they were just busting everywhere. All, I mean, just the water was just all lit up with fish and white bass and can't really catch anything now. But we're happy and thankful for what we got. And it's fishing and it's river time, hanging with the buddy. Beautiful country. So it's a great day to be on the water. Oh, Harley caught a fish like a really real dude. Harley, would you say that you love it when your pole bends? I'd say that's a good way. <laughs> I love it when my pole bends. Oh, you got a double? Uh, I got a single, oh. but that's a double size or one. Oh, you got two of them on there. Yes, I do. You got oh, two of them on there. No Did he get them in? Oh, he got them both in, Harley. You go, man. Got nucks coming. Bye. All right. Look at them big old skipjacks. Those are some big old nice skipjacks there. Yes. Very good, man. That's awesome. Now let me see if I also can catch a fish like a really real dude. Look at that. That's a big one. That's probably a two pounder. That's Maybe a little more. Big old belly. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I don't know if they uh, if they come on camera or not, but that thing as you was bringing it up, it spit out one of them little shad, some little dinky yellowtail shad. I think we're back in the water, so. Excellent job, my brother. Hi, John. Having a good time. I'm flipping a Foley spoon in case you guys were curious what I'm casting here. On my little, on my, on my cadence gear here. Flipping the Foley way, spoon. Since you're speaking of cadence, I've been throwing their spinning rig here the last couple of days. That's a nice outfit, man. It is. Hey. Yeah, they're a... They're nice they're wonderful. Smooth. The poles are poles are little bitty old skinny poles and they're pretty strong. Yeah. They're the well, it's forty ton graphite rods. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I uh, I like this cadence gear, man. If there's gonna be anything to dislike about them, it's probably that teeny tiny <laughs> guide out there on the end. The guide eye. I can hardly see anymore. I like never got the line through that little one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they are nice. This is the. Uh, this CR7 rod is the only one that has that. Is it? Yeah. But. Well, I was hoping that maybe I could also catch a fish. But. All through the magic of video editing. Yes. 
It may look like you catch one. We will hopefully catch a fish. <laughs> so, all right, well, we'll turn the camera on if anything cool happens. I thought you said you were going to catch one next time. Harley with another one. They come off? Off of the boat. Oh, they do that. I hate it when they do that, but they do it. Yeah, they do. Look what I caught. I oh, caught I a... I gotta ask you, do you have I, a license for that? I caught a rock. <laughs> that shows you how good of a fisherman I am. I could catch all kinds of rocks you on got, the bottom. I wonder how long I'd have to cook that thing for. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, go back, rock. You're free. Yeah, rock. Which probably not there, Harley. What do you say, John? Oh, and then there was one. And then there was one. They do that a lot too, man. They do. Nice, man. Boy, those are some quality fish. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. They're good ones, that's for sure. I'm gonna do my Chris Souders invitation. You ready? Yeah. Knowing Chris Siders, I just want to tell you that's a terrible Chris Siders imitation. Oh, is it? Yeah. That was pretty spot on. <laughs> You're just saying that because Chris will go see this and Chris will go, you know, you're right. Don't look at it, it's just the. Yeah. Chris will look around, he'll take a fish off and rebait it and never once look at his hands. <laughs> but he's my buddy. And by the way, um, I have had fun this fall, did a collaboration with him a couple weeks ago, and then get to go out with you today. What more can a fella ask for? How about we can ask for or get some more fish on the pole there? Would that be too much to ask? <laughs> Talking too much for your video. Fishing! Let's go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more. the master oh heck yeah there we go all right let's get some more Any more nope there's your two in the boat nope make it three. Oh, got... the bottom one came off oh the bottom one came off no he didn't hang on there you go that's a he three. got all three of them in the boat that's a three for so what, are you saying you like my system for skipjack fishing? Well, the proof's in the pudding, and there's three bowls of pudding. <laughs> three bowls of pudding. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Dose. Uh, get some more. And three. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for uh, for this video. We appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check out Harley's channel. I will leave a link to it in the description box. Thank you, Harley, for coming out. We had thank a great time. Thank you so much, John. For it, it, I was just telling you a little while ago, thank you again. It's been a month since you had that video of all this craziness <laughs> going on down here. Here we are. Thank you again, Bubby. You're very welcome, brother. We had a good time, and I hope the video wasn't boring as crap. And uh, we'll uh, try to get more next time. So until the next time, we'll catch you in the next video. Fishing! <laughs>